In this video, I'm gonna go over Newton second law lab. What I did, I ask you to apply the same net force, which would be 50 Newton, on an object. Newton second law lab, very important. We're gonna use FAT simulation uh, to, um, to complete this lab. At home, you wanna use the FAT simulation to finish this lab. How are you gonna use the FAT simulation? That's what in this tutorial I'm going to explain. So let's dive in, uh, pay attention uh, so that you can finish the lab. I already gave you the link under the Google Classroom assignment, but you can go to the Google and write FAT Force Basics uh, and then click on it and then make sure you choose the last one, acceleration, and that's what we're going to do. Once you are there, make sure you check everything except the speed, no speed. Make sure you keep the friction zero. The next time you're gonna do friction. This time you're gonna do no friction, zero friction. Uh, one more thing, and that is we're gonna keep the applied force constant. That means 50 Newton. In this lab, I want you to first drag 40 kilogram and then see what is the acceleration. 50 kilogram, then see what is the acceleration. 80 and 100 and see what is the acceleration. To move it. However, you're going to keep changing the mass of the object from 40 kilogram to 50 kilogram to 80 kilogram to 100 kilogram and see how that affects the acceleration of the car. Of course, this is not acceleration due to gravity, this is acceleration due to changing the mass. What happened to the acceleration if you have bigger mass? What happened to the acceleration when you have smaller mass? Okay, so that means the investigating Newton's second law by keeping the force constant. All right, so now the one over 40 would be 0 0.025, um, 1 over 50 would be 0 0.02, 1 over 80 would be 0 0.0125, and 1 over 100 would be 0 0.01. The acceleration you want to get from the simulation. So acceleration for uh, this one would be uh, acceleration for the 40 kilogram would be 1.25. Acceleration would be, uh, for 50 kilogram would be um, let's see one. Acceleration would be 80 kilogram would be 0.63. Acceleration for 100 kilogram would be 0.5. As you see that as mass increases acceleration decreases okay now this is our graph we're going to use this data understand that this is our x-axis and this is our y-axis okay why one over mass let me explain why one over mass we're going to use as an x-axis uh, let's explain that first okay so m m the slope is delta y over delta x right Slope is delta y. What is the SI unit for delta y? Delta y is, of course, our y axis, and that is the acceleration meter per second squared. That means this is meter per second squared. Delta x is 1 over ma uh, mass, so 1 over kilogram. So 1 over kilogram. So then what do you get? Meter per second squared and 1 over kilogram. So meter per second squared, you, you flip it, so kilogram over 1. All right, so you get kilogram meter per second square, which is Newton, and what physical quantity, whose SI unit is Newton? Of course, force. So the slope of this A, one over mass graph would be force. And that would be, of course, if we do it correctly, that would be 50 Newton. All right, so let's first scale the x-axis. What is our biggest x? Our biggest x is 0 0.025. So let's go by five boxes, increment by five boxes. One, two, three, four, five. Let's make it 0 0.005. One, two, three, four, five. Let's make it 0 0.01. One, two, three, four, five. Let's mark it, make it 0 0.015. One, two, three, four, five. Let's make it 0 0.02, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, let's make it 
1.025. This is our x axis. Now let's take care of the y axis. Our biggest y is 1.25. So this one should be 1.25. So let's erase it to make a room. I can write acceleration <coughs> right over here. Let's increment by 1, 2, 3, 4 boxes. 0 0.25, 1, 2, 3, 4, 0 0.5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 0 0.75, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1.25, 1, 2, uh, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1.25. All right, so our x axis and our y axis now we are ready to draw the base fit line. How many points we have? We have four points to do the base fit line. What is the point number one? Point number one is 0 0.01 comma 0.5. So 0 0.01 comma 0 0.5. 0 0.01 comma 0 0.5 is right here. Okay, good. The second point is 0 0.0125.63. 0 0.0125 comma 0.63. That's our second. So 0 0.0125 is between these two. So that means here. And 0 0.63, 0 0.63 has to be right, right here between 0 0.5 and 0 0.75. All right. 0 0.02 comma 1. 0 0.02 comma 1. 0 0.02 comma 1. Comma 1. Yes. 0 0.02 comma 1 is right there point zero two comma one is right there okay now finally we have point zero two five point zero two five comma comma one point two five point zero two five comma one point two five that's our last point now we are ready to connect this dot all the points are on the base fit line why is that because we collected the data using simulation and there is no human error okay usually if you have four point two point should be above the base fit line this the ruler is the base fit line all right above um, two points would be above the base fit line and two point would be below the base fit line in this case the ruler is the base fit line let's see whether we can use the different color to draw the base fit line All right, so this is our base fit line. We did not include zero. Um, okay, so let's see. We're gonna collect two points that, that they don't come from this table, okay? So let's check. This point does not come from this table, so you're gonna write point zero zero five. 0 0.005 comma 0 0.25. So this, this point did not come from this table. Okay, we will have to make sure that our point come from base fit line, not from the table. Okay, let's see, let's collect this one. 0 0.015, 0 0.015 comma 0.75. All right, so this is our x1, this is our y1, this is our x2, this is our y2. So m is y2 minus y1, x2 minus x1. So y2 is 0.75 minus 0.25 over 0.015 minus 0.005. And that m, so m is 50 and this is Newton, so this must be force. So the force is... 50 Newton and we knew that all along we all uh, had to prove that it is actually 50 Newton and we know how to uh, calculate the uh, get, get the data from the base fit line and and, and, and and show that this is what the simulation gave.